तो आज की वीडियो में बात करने वाले हैं नाइट ड्राइविंग हाई बीम ड्राइविंग इन फोक रेन एंड फ्लड सैंड स्टॉर्म हेलो नमस्ते सरकार असलाकुम दोस्तों इस वीडियो में आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है अगर चैनल पर नए हैं तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें क्यूँकी दुबई इन्फो रिलेटेड बहुत सारे कंटेंट ऑन द वे है लेसन नंबर फाइव में हम ये सारी चीजें सीखेंगे अबाउट द एनवायरनमेंट जैसे कि नाइट ड्राइविंग हाउ आवर आई सी एट नाइट कलर्स अफेक्टिंग विजिबिलिटी हेडलाइट एंड हाई बीम एक्सीडेंट एट नाइट फोक एंड सैन स्टॉर्म विजिबिलिटी एंड स्पीड रिपोर्ट ऑन एक्सीडेंट कैजुअलिटीज रेन एंड फ्लड विजिबिलिटी एंड एक्वा प्लानिंग ब्रेकिंग डिस्टेंस एंड फॉलोइंग डिस्टेंस एसेसिंग द फ्लड वाटर पासिंग थ्रो एंड देयर आफ्टर स्लीपरी एंड सैंडी रोड वीडियो लंबा ना हो इसलिए मैं कंप्यूटराइज वो ऑन कर रहा हूँ नाइट ड्राइविंग the risk of a crash is higher at night however if you drive carefully you can reduce the added risks of driving after dark this is very important when you are a new driver as you may have only had a few driving lessons with your driving instructor at night driving at night is much different from driving during daylight pedestrians are harder to see especially those wearing dark clothing motorcyclists and cyclists can also be difficult to see particularly if they are not using their headlights sometimes this even applies to other vehicles keep your speed down and you will have time to react you should be able to stop within the distance you can see in rural areas this will be the range of your headlights but remember it is more difficult to judge speed and distance at night important rule You must use the lights of your vehicle from sunset until sunrise as well as during the day where the view is unclear. The lights must be on the front and the rear of the car. High beam If your eyes are dazzled by oncoming vehicle high beam light on, look to the right side of the road and towards the right side of your lane. If you still have difficulty to see, slow down and pull over until you can see again. High beam lights must only be used on highways which don't have overhead lighting when needed to improve the view of ahead. They must not be used when another vehicle is coming from opposite direction. You should also dip your headlights when you are approaching another vehicle from behind. fog driving in fog fog is like a clouded ground level it forms when the temperature drops very low and invisible water vapor in the air condenses to form suspended water droplets fog can be patchy it can be very dense in some areas and light in some this creates visibility problems and very dangerous driving conditions fog usually comes during early mornings on the months when the weather is changing start or end of summer in the uae driving in fog do slow down gradually in foggy conditions and drive at a speed that suits the conditions make sure the full lighting system of your vehicle is turned on use your low beam headlights high beams reflect off the moisture droplets in the fog making it harder to see if you have fog lights on your vehicle use them in addition to your low beams they will increase your visibility and could save your life be patient Avoid passing, changing lanes and or crossing traffic. Use pavement markings to help guide you. Use the right edge of the road as a guide rather than the center line. Increase your following distance. You will need extra distance to brake safely. Look and listen for any hazards that may be ahead. Reduce distractions in your vehicle. For example, turn off the cell phone. Your full attention is required for driving. Watch out for any electronically operated warning signs. Keep looking as far ahead as possible. Keep your windows and mirrors clean. Use your defroster and wipers to maximize your vision. If the fog is too dense to continue, pull completely off the road and try to position your vehicle in an area away from other traffic. Turn on your emergency hazard lights before you drive and during your trip check weather forecasts and road reports. If there is a weather warning or reports of poor visibility and driving conditions, delay your trip until conditions improve, if possible. Driving in fog. Don't. Don't stop in the middle of the road. You could become the first link in a chain reaction collision. Don't make sudden stops. 
the vehicles behind you may not be able to see you in time. Don't speed up suddenly, even if the fog seems to be clearing. You could find yourself back in fog. Don't speed up to pass a vehicle moving slowly or to get away from a vehicle that is following too closely. Don't continue driving if the fog is too dense and the visibility is greatly reduced. Remember, to be late is better than not to arrive at all. Remember, watch your speed. You may be going faster than you think. If so, reduce speed gradually. Leave a safe braking distance between you and the vehicle ahead. Remain calm and patient. Don't pass other vehicles or speed up suddenly. Don't stop on the road. If visibility is decreasing rapidly, pull off the road into a safe parking area and wait for the fog to lift. When visibility is reduced, use your low beam lights. You are dazzled by the lights of an oncoming vehicle. You should answer slow down and move to the right if safe to do so. When must you drive with lights on? Answer from sunset to sunrise. If visibility is reduced by fog, if visibility is reduced by fog, answer be patient and avoid passing or crossing traffic. Aqua planning. Aqua planning is where there is too much water on the road or you are going too fast in the wet. Your tires may ride on the top of the water like water skis and you can lose control of your vehicle. It can be difficult to tell when you are aqua planning, but it often feels as though the steering is non-responsive and the back end of the vehicle is weaving. It occurs as a combination of speed, tire pressure, tire condition and depth of water. Avoid aqua planning by reducing your speed to less than 80 km per hour. Over this speed you significantly increase your chances of aqua planning. Travel in the tracks of the vehicle in front of you, but stay back by at least 4 seconds. Try and stay in the middle lanes if possible, as water will tend to gather in the outside lanes first. Aqua planning. If you do aqua plane, check your mirrors. Make sure the full lighting system of your vehicle is turned on. Put on your hazard lights. Grip the wheel firmly and avoid braking or accelerating. Reduce your speed gradually by releasing the accelerator. Once you feel your vehicle under control either brake gently or accelerate gently. Check the mirrors for other vehicles getting too close. Assessing the flood waters. Flooding in Dubai occurs very rarely as heavy rains are not very common. But when heavy rains come, heavy flooding also happens in many areas of the city. Drivers need to be extra cautious when driving through flooded areas as it is difficult to guess how deep the water really is. You can only see the surface of the water, you cannot see if there are hidden dangers in the path you are taking like sharp objects or deep holes. To be safe and if at all possible, it is best to avoid driving through floods. But if you must drive through flood, do so carefully keeping in mind the following. For regular saloon cars, check if the flood water is above 50% of the tire height and if this is a case, do not drive through. There is a very good chance that water may enter the exhaust pipe and stall the engine. Do not drive through fast moving water even if the water level is at or below 50% of the tire height. The force of the flood water may sweep your car away. Engage low gear, drive slowly while maintaining smooth acceleration and revving the engine by slipping the clutch to prevent the water from entering the exhaust pipe. Show courtesy. Driving at speeds through flood can cause water to splash on the sides and soak other motorists or pedestrians. Once you successfully pass the flooded area, avoid speeding as your brakes will not be as efficient due to moisture. You must step on your brakes repeatedly to help remove the moisture in it until the brakes efficiency is restored. Dust and sandstorms are among nature's most violent and unpredictable phenomena. High winds lift dirt or sand particles into the air, unleashing a turbulent, suffocating cloud that can reduce visibility to almost nothing in a matter of seconds and cause property damage, injuries, and deaths. No matter where you live, it's a good idea to know what to do if you see a wall of sand racing toward you. Sand storms. Sand on the roads can be dangerous, as tire grip is reduced and it can be more difficult to work out where the edge of the road is. Dust from vehicles coming towards you may hide unexpected hazards, such as other vehicles, a dip or a corner. Dust thrown onto windows can also stop you from being able to see. 
slow down and keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front. Here are some tips to help drivers safely maneuver through the sandstorm. Keep an appropriate distance between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead of you. Slow down and be aware of the road markers. Avoid speeding and sudden braking. During a storm don't park your car under trees, phone or electricity lines, billboards or buildings under construction. Avoid sudden braking which might result in the car skidding on the accumulated sands on the road. If the car skids and you lose control, turn the wheel in the direction of the car is skidding. One of the difficulties of driving through flood is, you cannot see any hidden dangers. When there is a flood, it is best to avoid driving through it if at all possible. How do you avoid aquaplaning? By slowing down, increasing following distance and traveling in the middle lanes if possible. Final check test for lesson number 5. 70% of total questions must be answered correctly before you proceed to next lesson. Driving through flooded area requires drivers to be extra cautious because it is difficult to guess how deep the water is. When driving through flood, it is important to be both cautious and courteous. For regular saloon cars, do not drive through flood water if the flood is more than 50% of the tire height. What is aquaplaning? Aquaplaning is where there is too much water on the road or you are going too fast in the wet. Foggy conditions can be patchy. This means fog is clearing in some areas but foggy again in some areas. When you will find accumulated sand on or to the side of the road, it can be anytime during and after sandstorm. In foggy conditions, you may be going faster than you think. If so, watch your speed and slow down gradually. If the fog is too dense to continue, it is best to keep driving with the low beam lights on. Why the sand on road can be dangerous? Because the grip of tire is reduced. Why is the risk of crash higher at night? Due to reduced visibility. 